Even though the development team working on Final Fantasy XV are hard at work on numerous projects right now, like Episode Prompto, Episode Ignis, the Comrades multiplayer expansion, character creation, the bestiary, those Magitek Exo suits, and the VR experience, they were still able to find time to work on some rather impressive assets for Nvidia to use during their press conference at the GPU Tech Conference 2017 in Silicon Valley. During the two hour conference, which amongst other things, was used to announce their new V100 Volta GPU, a beast of a graphics processor that will cost a whopping $149,000, Jensen Huang, the CEO and founder of Nvidia, name dropped Square Enix and specifically Hajime Tabata as he spoke about its graphical capabilities. He spoke about how he'd reached out to Tabata 10 days prior to the conference to see if they were able to provide anything for them to use at the conference. But before showcasing what they were able to provide, Huang spoke about how with Final Fantasy XV and Kingsglaive, Tabata's vision was to unify the pipeline, the workflow, and the graphics engine, at least when working with cinematic film and real-time graphics. He said that Tabata's more long-term vision is that someday cinematic film and computer graphics have essentially the same visual effects and that today they will be able to show how far they've come in trying to achieve that. Tabata via Huang did apologise though, saying that as they only had 10 days to work on it, they weren't really able to provide something at the level that they would have liked. And as we know from the past, they are capable of pulling together some pretty stunning technical demos, but what they did show at the Nvidia conference was still rather impressive. The brief demo, which was only about 60 seconds long, focused on Nyx Ulrich, the protagonist of Kingsglaive. He is standing in King Regis' throne room, but unlike the movie itself, where everything was rendered frame by frame, this technical demo pulls the character directly out of the movie. Huang ran through a few different elements, like the geometry and soft shadows, and was very keen to highlight just how realistic the leather Nyx is wearing looks. But I think the thing that impressed me the most was just the natural animations being played out on a character that was so lovingly crafted for the movie. After the demo, they went on to roll a trailer for Kingsglaive, which to be honest was a bit cheesy, but it was at least understandable. However, before rolling it, Huang noted that Tabata had said to him that he believes Kingsglaive reflects how Final Fantasy games will look in the near future, and given how quickly things are progressing, who can really argue with that statement? I think we all saw the footage they showed at GDC 2017 a few months ago, which featured Final Fantasy XV playing on a high-end PC. And based on the next demo they just showed at this conference, it's not too difficult to envision Tabata's next project looking even more stellar, especially as they've dedicated so much time to developing the Luminous engine. I would still like to believe that Square Enix are able to compete with other video game companies in this area, and not just within the various cutscenes that they produce, and if this technical demo, plus others that they've shown in the past, are representative of what they're able to create, then that gives me a good degree of confidence about upcoming work. Either way, I'll put a link to the technical demo in the description below so you can have a look for it yourselves. And once you've done so, let me know in the comments what you thought about the technical demo. Do you think it was impressive? Also, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to support our channel, head over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. You can find out how you can suggest video topics, get badges, and even get your name at the end of videos like these awesome folks. Alright, thanks for watching guys, this is Daryl, signing out. I'll see you next time.